In this video, we're going to look at MIDI real-time properties in Pro Tools. MIDI real-time properties let you modify your MIDI data on both MIDI and instrument tracks in real time. You can adjust the MIDI real-time properties during playback, which can facilitate a very fast production workflow. Once you find a setting you're satisfied with, you also have the option of writing the properties to tracks or clips. There are two ways we look at real-time properties in Pro Tools. The real-time properties view in the edit window, or the real-time properties floating window. Let's start by looking at the real-time properties view in the edit window. Here you can see I have a simple Pro Tools session open. I have two options to enable the real-time properties view. First, I can go to the View menu, Edit Window Views, and select Real-time Properties. The other option is to enable the real-time properties view from the Edit Window View selector. Then the real-time properties view will become visible. To enable one of the real-time properties, simply click on the button in the real-time properties view. Here I have the option to modify quantization, duration, delay, velocity, and transposition on the track. But one of the great things about real-time properties is that you can just as easily disable the property by clicking the button again. Note that if you're in one of the smaller track views, like small, or mini, you may only be able to see one or two of the real-time properties. It's ideal to set the track size to medium or larger so that all five properties will be visible. The other way to view real-time properties is to use the real-time properties floating window. You can open this window by going to the event menu and choosing MIDI real-time properties. You can also open the real-time properties floating window by pressing Option 4 on the Mac or Alt 4 on Windows using the keyboard's numeric keypad. Then the real-time properties floating window will appear. The first thing you'll want to do is decide whether you want to apply the real-time properties to a selected clip or to the entire track. Next, we can expand the views for the individual properties by clicking the disclosure triangle to the left of the property. As you can see, this permits us to see many more controls for each of the real-time properties. Just like in the track view, we can enable the real-time property by clicking its button. The most common use for real-time properties is definitely quantization. If we enable the quantization property by clicking on it, we can then open the quantize menu and choose either a grid value or a groove template. We can also adjust the swing percentage by either using the arrow keys or typing in a value. If you'd like to view the expanded quantize options, you'll need to go to the real-time properties floating window. Here I can enable tuplets, offset, quantization strength, include range, and randomization. Then I can decide whether to leave the properties running in real time or to write these settings to the clip. So that's a basic look at how to use real-time properties in Pro Tools.